This video will give an explanation of how the Greek, uh, let's call you an amateur astronomer, Eratosthenes, uh, was able to estimate the size of the Earth. Um, I'm getting this information, some of the details, and some of the background story using Wikipedia. They had a, a good article, I believe, on this, uh, on this subject. Um, it confirmed a little bit at a NASA website article, uh, but this was a little bit more detail, a little better story. Uh, so Eratosthenes, and hopefully I'm not mispronouncing that too badly, uh, chief librarian of the Great Library in Alexandria, Egypt, and he had knowledge that the sun was directly overhead at the June solstice um, in the town of Syene, Egypt, now near Aswan, um, and on this summer solstice day, he measured the angle of the sun's shadow in Alexandria and determined that that shadow angle was about one-fiftieth of a full circle uh, from the vertical. So in, uh, in Syene, they could look and uh, notice when they lean over a well, and a well is vertical, uh, on the summer solstice that the person's head would block the sun from reflecting off the water at the bottom of the well. And we have a situation in Alexandria then. If this is my pole, and you can start to see a little bit of shadow. I've got a broad bulb here. Uh, but uh, the, the post in Alexandria uh, would, calcul would uh, cast a shadow that was not, that shadow did not come straight down the pole. There was a little bit of offset, 1 50th of a circle. And, of course, the Greek culture was aware the Earth was round that uh, lunar eclipses, the shadow of the Earth is always round, and travelers gave them reports that the uh, North Star had, was a different altitude as they would go north and south in their travel. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. You should read up on that if you're, if you're curious about Greek knowledge of the spherical Earth. Um, so Eratosthenes have this data of 1 50th of the circle for the shadow. And he has an estimate of the distance between Alexandria and Syene of 5,000 stadia. We'll talk more about that later. Um, so he set up a proportion and calculated the circumference of the Earth. And then the formula circumference equals 2 pi r can be used to calculate the radius of the Earth. So let's see what, what happened here. First, my attempt at a drawing of the uh, situation that's occurring here. So if you orient yourself, you have the Earth. <clears throat> and you have the uh, sun very far away. This drawing is not to scale. The sun is very far away, so the sunlight's coming straight down these dotted lines. In Syene, it goes straight down the well. And would, the well does not go to the center of the earth, but uh, would head towards the center of the earth. In Alexandria, this vertical pole, there's a shadow cast because the sun is not overhead. The sun is shining somewhat from the side. And the angle of that shadow is 1 50th of the full circle. 1 50th of the full circle. 5,000 is the arc here uh, between Alexandria and Syene. That's probably a, an approximate number. Um, be unusual that it was exactly 5,000 stadia between Alexandria and Syene. We have a radius of the Earth. That's ultimately what we want to get to. And can you see that if we have an angle here of 1 50th of a full circle, that's roughly 7 degrees. Not going to worry about the decimal. But if we have 7 degrees here, if these two dotted lines are parallel, and approximately they are with the sun very far away, so the sunlight coming in on parallel rays, um, 7 degrees is our angle here. What's true when a straight line cuts across two parallel lines? If I have this angle, what's true about the angle at the center of the Earth? Well, that's also going to be 7 degrees. It's going to be the same angle. And then we can use the central angle formula, S, the arc length, equals R times theta, where theta is in degrees. But we don't need to get even that complicated. We can make a proportion. We can make a proportion. This angle here, roughly 7 degrees, is to 360 degrees. 
what 5,000 stadia is to the full circumference of the earth. So you might want to just pause and uh, jot that, uh, that proportion down and I'll continue. So continuing with the work of this proportion, <clears throat> so 1 50th of a circle is to the full circle. These are two angles. And if you want to use 7.2 degrees here and 360 degrees down here, you're welcome to do that. But a proportion, the angle measured for the shadow compared to the full angle of a circle, that's the same ratio as 5,000 stadia divided by the circumference of the circle. Let's let C represent circumference. So if I cross multiply here, C would be on the left, my equal sign. And now I'm dividing by 1 50th into 5,000. So I multiply both sides by circumference. I multiply both sides by uh, <coughs> 1. I divide both sides by 1 50th. And we end up with this relationship. 5,000 divided by 1 50th. How do I handle division by a fraction? I don't like it. Uh, but you can use your calculator or you can remember invert and multiply. So I invert the 1 50th, it becomes 50 over 1, and multiply 50 by 5,000, I get 250,000 stadia. That would be the circumference of the Earth. Now, the Wikipedia article talks a little bit about stadia and how they've been estimated. Um, according to the Wikipedia article, our best guess now is the stadia was about 185 meters. So 250,000 stadia times this conversion factor, 185 meters for one stadia, and we get 4.6 times 10 to the seventh meters. And what are we calculating here? This is the circumference of the Earth. Again, that's what we were setting up here in our um, equation. We solved this proportion for circumference. I just called it C. So the circumference in meters is 4.6 times 10 to the seventh meters. Um, and if we use the circumference now is equal to 2 pi r. So 4.6 times 10 to the seventh meters equals 2 pi r. Divide both sides by 2, divide both sides by pi. And we get a value for the radius of the Earth of 7.4 times 10 to the six meters. The actual radius is closer to 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters. And it's not a surprise that um, the measurement or the determination of the radius of the Earth is not exact. Um, some things, what can you uh, imagine would be a reason that it's not exact? What do you think might be uh, some possible sources of error in the result? Well, I've already mentioned, I. I doubt that the true number is 5,000 stadia. Whatever a stadia is, I, I, if somebody's uh, surveying it off, um, I don't think it's exactly 5,000. Then, the number of meteor, meters in one stadia, we don't know exactly what it was. And Alexandria is not on a meridian with Syene. Uh, they're not directly north and south of each other. If you do a, a, a Google map search, you'll find that Alexandria and Syene are off by about two degrees of longitude. That's not very far, so this you know, roughly gives you the right answer. Um, but there we have an estimate. That's how the uh, size of the Earth was estimated uh, by the Greek culture. So not too bad and uh, good work for not having uh, satellites orbiting the Earth and such. I hope that you... Uh, appreciate especially how this ratio was constructed. The shadow of the sun allowed knowledge of what this angle was between Alexandria and Syene. So number of degrees here divided by 360 degrees is in the same proportion as this distance along the earth from Alexandria to Syene is compared to the whole circumference of the earth. So that proportion allows calculation of circumference, and then circumference equals 2 pi r allows for the calculation of the uh, radius of the Earth, at least an estimate of the radius of the Earth. So ask your instructor if you have questions on this.